Today I'm going to teach you guys how to get a job. Okay? We're going to look at part-time work. Okay? Not like the corporate stuff. So don't leave angry comments down below. Okay? Calm down. Okay? Hi everybody and welcome back. Today I want to talk to you guys about the sort of continued series I've been doing over the last couple, I would say, days or weeks. If you haven't seen the videos in this line, I would heavily suggest you look at the description down below and check those videos out later. You don't particularly need to see them right away. It's not like I've been building up suspense, but we've been looking at like where you should work as a student to get a part-time job, applying for that part-time job, and now let's say you've been called in for the interview we're going to go over like the basic interview questions that you might get asked and how to answer them properly and I'll try and give you some examples as we go so we have the nasally nosy interviewer right over here uh, just waiting to come out and uh, ask questions you apply to a place called Don's Burgers and Don's Burgers has called you and said, uh, we want you to come down. We want to interview you for a part-time job while you are in school. So let's go over those interview questions and how to answer them as efficiently and usefully as possible. Uh, hello, Miss Orchid. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. This is kind of where you talk about what you're studying, what brought you to that university or that city, uh, what your goals are, a little bit, just an idea of it and the sort of person that you are. My name is Orchid. I'm actually here to study in Ottawa. I have been living in a lot of different countries over the last couple years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm really looking forward to pursuing my academic career at Carleton University and I can't wait to begin working here at Don's Burgers as well. What would you say is your greatest strength? This is where you talk about what it is that you have in terms of a quality that could help you at that job specifically. So if you're applying to Don's Burgers, don't talk about your fashion sense. I have traveled a lot. I have volunteered in a lot of different places. Okay, interesting. So I work really well under pressure and I enjoy speaking to people. Mm -hmm. A varied cultural and ethnic diversities. And what is your greatest weakness? Do you say something that's like negative about you, but you immediately say something really positive about that and how you have fixed it or how you can fix it. My greatest weakness is sometimes I take my work too seriously and I don't know when to stop. Wow, okay. So over the last few jobs that I've had, I've really learned to build a better schedule to make sure I don't take any of the stress from work home with me. And when I'm at work, I make sure I complete all the tasks at hand. How would you say you handle pressure? Like, do you think you can uh, work well under pressure with uh, customers? This is where you can also bring up like your experience from the past. Maybe you've done some volunteer work somewhere where there was a lot of work involved. Uh, you know, maybe you've traveled a lot. You can even say, hey, you know what? I have a really big family. There's 12 of us living in the house. I am the eldest sibling out of all of them and I have never hesitated to take responsibility. Okay. So pressure has never ever scared me. It's never intimidated me. And I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what I can do with the skills that I have at this employment. Why do you think we should hire you? Because I'm flipping burgers. No, I think you should hire me because I'm extremely hardworking. You know, I'm determined to do well in school and I love to eat. I can't think of a better combination of someone like myself. And then you can put in a little joke, like something like, well, I do train a lot, so I know my arm won't get tired flipping burgers endlessly every day, as many days as I'm here. So just make it a very simple answer. Every answer has to relate to the question. Are you available to work weekends and late evenings? This, by the way, is probably like the one question you'll get the most. 
when you interview as a student. Now, they are going to ask you if you can work evenings and weekends because that's what every employer asks every student ever. Make sure you have that availability with you. Don't be like, no, I got a party on Saturdays and I go to Jessica's house on Sundays for like mimosas. No, make sure you're available because that really will be the only time you can work. So you're always like, yes, I'm absolutely available on evenings and weekends, except on Thursdays because I have a biochemistry class. All right, Miss Orchid, I think I have all the information that I need. Um, so far, everything looks great and uh, we're looking to hire right away. So we'll get in touch with you very soon. Okay. Once the interview is done, you say, thank you so much. It was wonderful meeting with you. I can't wait to discuss our schedule and get started with my job here. Have a great day. Okay. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Hopefully this also helps you guys out. Please let me know if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, or ideas for other videos I can provide to you guys. I'm trying to give you as friendly and honest advice as I can. Please don't forget to share this video with anyone who could use it. Until next time, think strong always, and I'll talk to you guys again very, very soon. Bye. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh.